The Skullcandy H3 headphones came out around October 2017 and I can definitely say these have aged really really well because if you look at them, the aesthetics are top notch. Not only that, I have been using these headphones since 2018 and they're still going strong. At the moment I have this paired up with an Android phone but it can also be paired up with an iPhone or anything that supports Bluetooth. Now what's included in the box? Apart from the headphones, there is a micro USB to USB charging cable a removable 3.5mm aux cable, a user guide, and a one year limited warranty. Now let's talk about the visual features of this headphone. So the design. These headphones are over ear headphones that come with a combination of glossy and matte finish. The Skullcandy logo is also under the radar, which makes the overall design of these headphones very minimalistic. I personally think these give off Batman vibes. Batman would definitely wear this. I mean, come on, look at this. The size is also good. It can extend to fit bigger heads. But do be aware that people with fairly big brains, big brains and big heads may end up breaking this when putting it on. So these headphones would not be ideal for them. In terms of weight of these headphones, they are fairly light, weighing around 200 grams or 8 ounces. These headphones mainly come in black, red and blue, but I've recently seen Skullcandy roll out more colors. So just browsing the internet, I've seen a teal version and an all-white version too. Here they are all together for you to see. There are also three buttons on the right hand side of the headphones. The middle one is the power on and off, and the top one is the volume up, and the bottom one is the volume down. Pretty simple. There are also two ports, a 3.5mm audio jack and a micro USB port for charging. Now let's go into the special features of these headphones. On paper, the Bluetooth range of these headphones are 6 meters, but being in a different room can also cause a bit of data loss or static. I am not an audiophile tester, so I can't really go into the technical terms and testing for these headphones, but I can say the bass sounds are quite good, even for a bass head like me. Overall, the sound is better than any readily available cheap headphones. Now the great thing about these headphones are the battery life. The battery can go up to 22 hours of usage time. That's what it is on paper, but your use might be different depending on the volume you use these headphones. Personally, I charge these headphones every 3 or 4 days. So the battery life of these headphones are definitely a plus. And to add to that, charging these headphones for 10 minutes will grant you 4 hours of playtime due to the rapid charging technology. Amazing, right? Now let's talk about the price. These headphones have a varying price depending on the model. Here are the prices for all the models that are available on Amazon. On the right are the prices in US dollars and on the left is the prices in New Zealand dollars. Here they are on the screen right now. However, in New Zealand retail stores, you can get these headphones starting from 150 and going all the way up to 170. Right, so now I want to talk about my experience with these headphones. They fit really well and I really like the cushion paddings that make it really comfortable to wear. But after the four hour mark, my ears do get a bit sore. So I would advise taking breaks here and there so you don't get sore ears. In terms of the design, I really like how the ear cups swivel around. So you can put it on the table face down when you're not using it. Also, when you do run out of battery, you do have the option to go wired, which you will have to plug in the cable through the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Now I've never been in a situation where I would run out of battery and had to plug it in because the battery really goes on for a while. But it's nice to know that you do have the wired option if you ever need it. In terms of the build quality, however, I think it needs a bit more improvement in that side. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I have broken these headphones and glued them back together. And you may see them in some of the B-roll I have done. But one day I decided to put these headphones in my bag because I wasn't using them. But when I took them out, the frame that holds the cushion pads, the ear cups, was broken. So I think that's the weakest part of these headphones, the frame. So do be aware when you're putting these headphones in your bag because these can be a bit too fragile. Now a solution to this would be why not have a case to store it in? That's one thing I didn't like about these headphones. They didn't come with a case where you can put the headphones in and risk breaking it. I definitely wouldn't mind a raisin price if they included a case with the headphones. I think this would be really beneficial for these headphones. Just to sum everything up about these headphones, the pros of these headphones are they have a pretty good audio quality. The design of these headphones are really great. Very minimal, very under the radar, very Batman-ish vibes. These aren't noise cancelling headphones, but they are good at isolating noise. So when you put them on, you could basically not hear many of the surrounding sound. Another good thing about these are the long battery life and fast charging. 
Stuff that I didn't like about these headphones are the fact that it doesn't have a case or anything that could protect these headphones like a shower or something. There also isn't a volume control button on the cable when you put them in. So just be aware of that, you would have to control your music, whatever you're watching through your phone when you put the cable in. If you do have any questions about these headphones, please put them down in the comments below. That's it from me, I will see you in the next one.